Hello, welcome students. Uh, so, today uh, we will be continuing with uh, uh, textbook for class 11 NCERT chemistry part 1. So, already we have started the uh, lesson some basic concepts of chemistry which is the first lesson from class 11. So, uh, we were talking uh, about the you know ancient India so many uh, discoveries were made in those times itself and uh, uh, we were talking about the Chakra Samhita. Uh, it says about the ancient Indians who knew how to prepare sulfuric acid, nitric acid, the various oxides of copper. Uh, so, all these are very common uh, in today's uh, world, but in those days, you know, it is uh, really surprising that uh, these people knew so much about uh, uh, chemistry in detail. So, uh, then you can see another uh, uh, Rasopanishida. Uh, Rasopanishda, it describes the preparation of gunpowder mixture, Rasopanishada. Uh, so, that is a uh, text which describes how gunpowder mixture is prepared and there are so many Tamil texts also which explains the preparation of fireworks and you see in those days itself they used uh, raw materials like sulphur, charcoal, saltpeter. What is saltpeter? It is potassium nitrate mercury, camphor using all these uh, the people used to make fireworks. Then another great scientist Nagarjuna, he was a great Indian scientist and he was a reputed chemist also an alchemist ok and he was also a metallurgist uh, and he his work uh, known as uh, Dasratnagar it deals with the formation of mercury compounds, mercury another language it is called Ras. So, he also discussed the methods how to extract metals like gold, silver, tin, copper and all that and uh, Rasar uh, Navam he uh, wrote another uh, no, another book uh, which came around 800 CE that discusses the uses of various furnaces, ovens and crucibles oh, no, all these are uh, uh, you know uh, subs, uh, uh, heating devices. So, we can heat uh, different substances in these furnace, crucibles and all that and uh, also you see in those days it is a now also you know how uh, metals are distinguished by their color of the flame. See like calcium shows uh, uh, red color, uh, so many colors green, yellow, different colors lilac you know for identification of barium, potassium, copper all these flame tests now we do in the laboratory in those days itself there were several methods to find out the metals by the characteristic color. Then Chakrapani he found out mercury sulphate and also the invention of uh, soap also was done by Chakrapani and wow, how did he make soap you should you know you should find it really interesting in those days also they used to make soap using mustard oil and some alkalis like you uh, know those uh, which are uh, used for making soap and uh, Indians uh, began making soap in 18th century uh, see and oil of uh, iranda and uh, seeds of mahua plant calcium carbonate all these ingredients raw materials were used to make soap and also regarding the paintings found on the walls of ajanta and uh, yellowra caves even after so many decades they look very fresh and uh, because of the it indicates the high level of science uh, knowledge achieved by people in ancient India. And Varaha Mihra's uh, Brihat Samhita that is a sort of encyclopedia and was uh, made in 6th century and it uh, tells us about the preparation of glutinous material. You know these are substances which you apply on walls and roofs of house and temples and how is it made of extracts of plants, fruits, seeds, barks and all that and uh, first it is concentrated by boiling and added uh, various resins like gums and all that are added to it and uh, so interesting uh, if you learn all these things and uh, in olden days itself all these existed and number of classical texts like uh, Adarva Veda then they all say about uh, dye stuff you know dye even today you know different color dyes are applicable for hair and uh, you apply different uh, color uh, like brown so many color dyes and are all there and the material used for turmeric, madder, sunflower or piment, uh, cochineal, lac and all that and uh, they had uh, some tinting property like uh, you know substances like uh, campli, 
கேப்பல் சீக்கா பட்டாங்கா ஜாத்துக்கா தி ஆர் ஹேட் டிண்டிங் லைக் டிண்டிங் ஹைலைட்டிங் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி அண்ட் வராக மிராஸ் பிரஹத் சம்விதா இட் ஆல்சோ மென்ஷன்ஸ் அபவுட் பர்ஃப்யூம்ஸ் அண்ட் காஸ்மெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹேர் டைஸ் வேர் மேட் ஃப்ரம் பிளான்ஸ் லைக் இண்டிகோ தென் மினரல்ஸ் லைக் அயன் பவுடர் பிளாக் அயன் ஸ்டீல் அசிடிக் எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரைஸ் குருவல் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் அண்ட் கந்த யுக்லி டிஸ்கிரைப் ரெசிபீஸ் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் சென்ஸ் மவுத் பர்ஃப்யூம்ஸ் பாத் பவுடர்ஸ் இன்சென்ஸ் கே டால்கம் பவுடர் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் தென் பேப்பர் வாஸ் நாட் டு இண்டியா இன் த செவன்டீன் சென்ச்சுரி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த சைனீஸ் ட்ராவலர் யூன் சிங் he describes about it and excavations at takshila uh, tells that ink was used in india from the 4th century and colors of ink were made from chalk red lead and minima and also uh, the process of fermentation you no know, they were uh, well known to indians in those days vedas and kautilyas artha shastra they all tell about different types of liquors then charaka samhita also says about uh, ingredients like bark of plants stem flowers leaves wood cereals fruits uh, sugar cane and all that uh, for making asavas and also concept that matter is made up of invisible building block that is the most important uh, description of matter even now we learn this concept today okay they appeared uh, uh, in india a few centuries as part of philosophical speculations then acharya kanta okay he was born in 600 bc and originally he was known by the name kashyap he was the uh, first uh, proponent of atomic theory okay and uh, how did he formulate the theory that uh, atoms are very small invisible particles and in those days he did not call them atoms it was called a uh, paramanu okay paramanu we can compare to atoms and uh, he authored the text uh, vai sheshika sutras and according to him what did he say all substances are uh, gathered or aggregated or grouped to form small small units called atoms which is called paramanu just see uh, when you compare to a building uh, uh, how how do you construct a wall using bricks and all that similarly uh, when you take the case of matter it is formed of small building uh, materials or small units called atoms okay uh, and those days uh, they thought that atoms were eternal and indestructible spherical supra sensible and in uh, motion always in the original state and also he explained that this individual entity paramanu it cannot be sensed through any human organ you cannot see it you cannot smell it any way it's not possible and kanda added that there are varieties of atoms which are uh, different as different classes of substance and he said that these paramanu could form pairs of triplets among other combination and unseen forces causes interaction between them and he conceptualized the theory around 2500 years before john dalton see those days you know uh, 1766 to 1844 what all discoveries were made in those time and chakra samhita that is the oldest uh, uh, ayurvedic epic of india which describes the treatment of diseases and uh, the concept of a reduction of particle uh, size of metals is clearly discussed here in charaka samhita and the extreme reduction of particle size is termed as nanotechnology and uh, charaka samhita describes the use of bhasma of metals in the treatment of ailments see metal bhasma so nowadays it has proved that bhasmas have nano particles of metals see after even so many years of research and all that still the old uh, modern days uh, uh, mod- uh, old olden days how they could find out all these substances which we prove correct in our period also and after the decline of alchemy uh, electro chemistry reached a steady state and but it too declined due to the introduction and practice of western medical system in 20th century so during this uh, time of uh, standstill situation pharmaceutical uh, industry that is medic- medicinal uh, medicine industry based on ayurveda uh, continued to uh, exist but also that also declined gradually and it took 100 to 150 years for indians to learn to find out new techniques and during this time foreign products came in large scale so traditional techniques declined and modern science appeared in indian scene in later part of the 19th century and uh, but by middle uh, of 19th century european scientists started coming to india and modern chemistry started 
growing so uh, now here from all that we discuss now uh, what do you understand you know that now chemistry deals with composition structure properties and interaction of matter and uh, it is of so much use to human beings in da daily life and you can uh, easily describe this in terms of basic constituents of matter see atoms uh, and molecules molecules are made up of atoms atoms combine to form molecules so that is why chemistry is also known as the science of atoms and molecules and uh, see you cannot uh, weigh or see these atoms and molecules and but it is possible to count the number of atoms and molecules in a given mass of matter because uh, there is a relationship between mass and number of particles so we will continue uh, in our further discussions about the physical properties of matter how can you uh, describe it quantitatively using numerical values with units and all that so i hope uh, you just have to revise don't think that you know all these concepts and this is only very common but all these have got great importance when you go advance into further stage of this uh, class 11 portion it's always uh, extremely good for a student to learn start learning from the basics so that your concepts will be very clear that is why i'm taking too much of my time to uh, go through all these lessons line by line which is very important and uh, i'll be regularly uploading all these topics to you and do read and just don't read and go away without subscribing to our channel because uh, your uh, support is our strength so kindly do like share and subscribe to our channel in CRT 11 and 12 and uh, thanks for watching our video